Today, we will be learning how to host a high-rise bot on Replit using the high-rise Python SDK. Our first step is to create an account on replit.com. Replit is an online coding platform that allows us to write and run code directly in our browser. It supports many different programming languages and provides features such as hosting and running the code for our bots that we will be demonstrating today. The first step is to create an account. I already have one, so I'm just going to log in, but otherwise, you can sign up for a free account. Now that we're logged in, we will be taken to our homepage. From here, we're going to click on this button in the top left to create our new REPL. A REPL is just a programming environment for our specific project, and it will give us an editor to write code and a shell to execute any commands to make our bot run. Our first step is to select the Python template and then give our REPL a name. For this tutorial, we'll call it my first bot. And keep in mind, this name won't affect anything in game. It is just for your rep reference for the REPLit side of things. All right, so let's create our REPL. Now that we've created our REPL, you'll be taken to the coding environment. On the left side, you'll see a file explorer. In the middle, you'll see the code editor, and on the right are where all the terminals are to import our commands. First, what we're going to want to do is to add the high-rise Python SDK dependency. To do this, we will open the pyproject.toml file and add the latest version of the SDK, which for at this moment is going to be high-rise-bot-sdk at 23.1.0.b10. Now, if we go to this shell tab on the right and execute the command uh, poetry update, this will bring all of our dependencies up to date. Uh, so poetry is a tool for Python dependency management and more specifically, running poetry update will update all of the dependencies uh, to their latest versions according to the restrictions that we specified in this pyproject.toml configuration file. And it is crucial to note that our code won't work without this step. Installation may take a while. Now that we've finished installing our dependencies, let's add some of our bot code to the main.py file. For this demonstration, I will be copying over the echo bot from the high rise documentation. Before we run our bot, we want to ensure that we have two things, our bot API token and the room ID ready, where either you are the owner or have designer privileges for that specific room. Now, in the shell tab, uh, we can execute the command high rise, followed by the name of the Python file, which in this case is going to be main, followed by a colon, and then the name of the class that implements the high rise base bot which in our case is B-O-T, followed by a space. And then we're going to copy and paste the room ID first, and then followed by a space. And now finally our API token. Now, if I hit enter, and we see that start has been printed to the screen, we know that our bot has now successfully connected to the server. And this means that we now have the basic setup completed and working. Now, in order to make this big run button work, we will need to edit the hidden file called .replit. And the way we can do that is to click on these three dots and click on show hidden files. Now we can find the .replit file right here. And uh, what we want to do is to delete this entire code block right here. So from lines 15 to 27, Everything under this interpreter block, we're going to want to get rid of. And next, we're going to want to replace the run command with our own run command that actually runs our bot. So in this case, instead of Python main.py, it's going to be high rise and then main colon bot, and then our same room IDs and API tokens. Now, if I save this file and I hit Control C to stop our current bot and I try to run it again, uh, using the big run button, we can see that our bot 
connected just fine. So now we have our uh, big run button configured and we should be able to run our bot just by clicking this button. Now let's move on to hosting your bot so that it stays active 24 seven. Currently, if I were to close this tab, our bot may stay on for another 30 minutes to an hour, but eventually it will go to sleep and that will result in turning off our high rise bot. In order to get around this, Replit has a feature called always on that will allow our bot to stay awake and responsive all the time. And this is what we will be demonstrating. There are a few ways we can access this feature. If we go to the Replit pricing plans, we can see that there are going to be various levels of monthly subscriptions. And at the very lowest plan, uh, just above the free one, for $7 a month, we can see that we get access to this always on power up for one REPL, along with uh, various other features. The alternative is if we go back to our REPL and we click back here and click on the always on power up, we can see that this power up costs 20 cycles a day where a cycle is Replit's form of virtual currency. And if we click buy more here, we can see that there are various different plans to purchase cycles at various different price points. But after we've chosen our, uh, our method of purchasing this always on plan, we should just be able to turn on this power up. And now we can see that it's activated. And what this now means is that our bot will stay up and running 24 seven, allowing for it to interact with the game at all times, even after you shut down your computer or your Replit tab. And just a word of caution, please be mindful of the code you're running 24 seven, make sure it does not violate any of the high rise terms of service or create an unfriendly environment for other players. As responsible developers, it is our duty to ensure a fair and enjoyable experience for everyone. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and if you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to join our Discord community and ask them there.